You may have heard me mention that a video that I have been very excited about went live. I'm very excited about it for a lot of reasons. One, I've never worked so hard on a talk. If you've you know, been following here for a while, you've heard me go through all of this mental stuff and all this practice and all of this insecurity and triumph. and I mean, it was a massive growth experience for me just to mentally do it as well as the amount of I practiced and the amount that I worked. I mean, I, I really have not put that much into a single project uh, for as long as I can remember. So to then execute it and it went so well and got the standing ovation, it was like, it was, it, you know, it, I'm proud. And so now that it's live, it's something that I really want to share with people for a couple reasons. One, I'm totally proud. Two, and this is where it gets problematic, is that this could be a good thing for me. Having a successful TEDx talk, if it gets to a certain amount of views, it will be put in the next level of distribution, which then will expose me to a whole bunch more people. And if that does well, it'll put me to the next level of distribution. And I believe that this is a good talk. I really believe that if enough people see it, it will get that kind of, you know, it, it has a potential in, to go viral. Um, I think it's, it's the best thing I've ever done, you know? So if I've ever believed in myself, it's like, I, I, I believe in this. But the problem comes in that story about this would be good for me. You know, a lot of people have told me it, and I get reminded all the time, this would be great for my career. This would be great if I want to be a speaker. This would be great... You know, if I could get enough views and notoriety, you know, if enough people see this, then that could really make things easier in the future. And so I fell back into a place that I have not been in a long time, and that is being attached to views and numbers and outcomes. I mean, it has been, I mean, there was a time a decade ago when, you know, I, I, you know, got a certain link and I was like refreshing my stats to see, oh, I got this many more clicks. Oh, I got this many more clicks. But I, I quickly realized how toxic that was for my, my mental state and for my happiness. So I've tried to sink back into that, that mantra of be present, have integrity, align with love. And over the last week, that mantra has been be present, refresh the page, see if there's been any more hits. Be present, refresh the page, is that enough views? Think about the future, how am I gonna get more views? Who do I need to remind to, to you know, reshare this? And, I, and, and so on one hand, this last week has been magical beyond my imagination. Like, the, the, the comments that I've been getting from friends and family and people that are just meeting me through seeing this have been more than I ever dreamed. I mean, the people connecting, people crying, people feeling inspired, people saying, I'm starting up a charity, people saying, I'm doing this, you, 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 this thing clicked in my head and now I'm doing that. And I'm like, you know, like, so everything that I could have ever dreamed of, of, of the the product of my efforts and my art and my work. And I have been able to enjoy that, but not totally fully because there's this part of me that's fallen into this attachment realm and is, is, and, and, and is hoping that things go a certain way, is really wanting to have a certain outcome of this. And so, you know, a percentage of my joy is not being released and not being present as it's being focused on this this outcome and it's, it's like oh of course have there ever been anything that I have talked about here or undertaken that has not been yet another opportunity to practice non-attachment I mean <laughs> there's only so many lessons that uh, that I, I, I mention and I talk about and and thank goodness that the universe won't let me forget how important it is. You know, in, in so many ways, the path of life and the path of a spiritual growth and, your, and, and, you know, what we're here to do as human beings is not to learn a lesson and then have peace with that. Learn a lesson, then have peace with that, and finally get to a place where we're this just, like, glowing Christ-like monk. The, 
point of being a human being is to kind of traverse back and forth from divine awareness back to human frailty and frustration. Divine awareness, human frailty and frustration. And you ride the roller coaster, and that's what makes it fun and interesting, and, and there's tension and release and joy and sorrow. And that's, so, you know, it's no wonder that I would fall into attachment, be reminded that, oh my gosh, get present and enjoy the bliss of this. Last night I was like, what am I going to talk about for Hugnation? I've been, only thing I've been thinking about is, you know, trying to promote this talk. And I was like, bing, <laughs> what? You have no, nothing to talk about as far as love and self-growth because you've been focused on promoting your talk that is about love and self-growth, but that's not what you've been thinking about? Like, <sighs> oh, Oh, you, <laughs> you got me again. So, uh, it's, it would be, I mean, I guess it is comical. What's the Buddha, you know, line that, you know, once you, once you reach enlightenment, you'll have no choice but just look up at the clouds and laugh. <sighs> Not that I'm enlightened. But you get tastes of it every once in a while. And from those places of, of awareness of the awareness, you can kind of have a little bit of sense of humor over the, the frustrations that you've had. It has been an incredible week. Um, and I'm, I'm so, the things that people have said as they shared this talk have just been incredible. And so I'm, I'm appreciative of this moment, this recalibration, to pull my awareness back into that unbelievable gift, that, that depth of joy that is there when I can pull my brain out of the attachment, out of that belief that things should be different. You know, Byron Katie's whole big kick is, you know, loving reality. And if you believe things should be different, they should be different, well, then you're going to suffer. doesn't matter what it is. It's not, you know, here, here, I mean, this is a perfect example. Best week of my life in some ways. But when I'm in the mindset that, oh, I, sh I, I, I was hoping I'd have twice this hits by now, you know, I, suddenly I wish things are different and the best week of my life becomes something that I have frustration about. Crazy! And you can see that no matter what, no matter where your baseline is, if you think that things should be better, you're going to suffer. Whether you're Bill Gates, whether you're a homeless person, whether you're limbless, whether you're Michael Jordan, if, you're, if you think things are not where they should be, you're in a place of suffering. And I've had moments of that this week. Not, I mean, don't get me wrong, I haven't been like tearing my hair out and crying and going crazy. It's just that I have not, I've noticed that you know, I, I've, 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 there have been moments when I have not been skipping and singing from the rooftops, which I, you know, from the outside and looking back, I go, why have I not been skipping and singing from the rooftops? I skipped a little, don't get me wrong. So, so I just want to say uh, thank you for everyone who has watched the video and given me one of those oh so precious views that I have been counting. I'm going to try to do my best to stop counting. Uh, I am trying to, to, uh, to still get some publicity and trying to write some blog articles from, from places and trying. I still want as many people as possible to see it, but I'm really going to practice on being stoked that it's there. No matter what, um, I'm proud of this thing and I'm proud that I got to share it with, with you if you watched it. Um, I'm going to assume that you did. So I'm proud. I'm stoked that I got to share this with you and, um, and, and everybody else. I mean, anybody beyond the people that, I mean, it was, it was the a thrill of my life to share it to that room of 450 people. So now to know that, you know, exponentially more people than that were able to experience that moment. Um, grandpa, you know, my heart being opened in that powerful way in that moment. I mean, that, that's, I, uh, I'm, you know, as I recalibrate here, I'm just in that intense state of gratitude. And I'm so appreciative of this weekly recalibration moment so that uh, I can take that 
energy vibration community experience that we have right now to refocus back to what is good. And hopefully you can do that wherever you are. It may or may not be the best week of your life, but I guarantee there's ice cream somewhere. <sighs> so thank you for being a part of the people that respond to this kind of vibration. People that are being drawn to it, they're reflecting it in their lives. I think even I mean, one of the things that I get so excited is that Especially as, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing for somebody who is a friend of mine to go, wow, the talk is great. It's another person thing for somebody's parents' neighbors to be like, wow, that's awesome. It's like, really? Because a year ago, I would have assumed that the people that would be able to hear this vibrational message of love and service and connection would be burners and people that would not be repelled by a pink-haired guy. But this experience is showing me that what I thought was this fraction of the population of our planet is actually much larger. And I don't know about you, but that kind of makes me very excited. Not so excited that I'm going to go back to counting the stats and the page views. I'm going to try not to, but just that knowledge that, you know, yes, there are people that have dreadlocks and, and you know, wear funky clothes that respond to this, but there's also housewives and plumbers and people whose labels mean nothing compared to their hearts. It's that, that, that growing awareness that when we strip away all that crap, the whole point of Hug Nation really, when we strip away all of our labels and our identities, that core responds to that love. That core it feels connected to one another and the more opportunities and excuses and tools and tricks and sticky notes and lectures and TED talks that 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 remind us that there's there's this this population of our world is all of us the more it allows us to express it more and be more fearless so thank you for being fearless in the pursuit of your heart song and walking your path it is an honor share this journey with you. I love you. Namaste. Oh.